Okay. So for those of you who've used this, what I'm going to do is, oops, basically select all the footage because it's only a minute 42 long. And so up the top you've got your event. Ma uh, the iMovie can flip them back and forth. It's basically your preference. I like to have my, the bulk of my footage, my raw footage as you call it, up the top and I work with the timeline down the bottom. It's because of my final cut. That, that's how it works. You can change it around. It's just a preference. So then you just drag it in and it'll populate your timeline. And so there it is, all there. And then obviously really you can just play it. Thing, but again, behind that viral video is a very clear plan and structure. So what I usually do is I'll watch through the footage just to get a feel for it, especially if it's stuff that Dave's recorded when I haven't been there. So I need to get a, a sense of the context of what it is. You know, it might be half an hour's worth of stuff. I go, okay, we need to break it up into chunks of, uh, you know, five to ten minutes and just, just get a feel for what I need. Then I start looking for where I can start cutting it up. So in, sen in the terms of when Dave does stuff, I look for those times when he starts and stops. That's, that's my fastest way to do it. But for something like this where, uh, as Rob pointed out, you might be recording somewhere, you know, just recording someone at an event or just out somewhere in, in an uncontrolled environment, and this is what you have to deal with. So basically, I might, once I watch it through, I'll just kind of fast forward to where there might be a good point where I stop. Okay. So let's do it here where there's like a change in direction. Because one thing about editing is that the best way to edit, like, if if you're moving beyond just having one image on the screen the whole time, you want to get some angles or, as we're talking about, I'm going to show you about cropping and zooming in. The, the golden rule for editing is to edit on the, on the action, okay? If someone's just standing there and then suddenly you just zoom in on them, it, it jumps it. But if, if Dave's standing there, I'll, I, won't edit, I won't edit on him just standing there like this. I'll edit it when he starts to move when he starts to go, okay, the next thing I want to talk about, and that's when, that's when you zoom in, because it's, it's, it's a moment of when the eye is sensing movement so you can move in. It's just, again, a natural thing that the eye responds to. So I'm going to choose this moment where I start to spin. And then what we do is I just uh, split the clip. I think that's to right click. And yeah, just right click. click. So it's control click if you're using a mouse, um, if you're using a pad. So basically th that's just giving me two clips. And then I select the second clip. So I've got this clip where I want it to spin. And down the bottom here, can you, oh, you can't see it. Oh, yeah, there. This is your little menu, like your little toolbar that you, can, that you can use on the clip. So when I click it, it brings up these options for me. Let me move that over a bit. So it brings up all these things I can do. <coughs> and in this situation, I'm going to go to crop and uh, rotation. So this brings up in this screen, you see that now you can change the image that you see. You can change the, the dimensions of what you've got. Now iMovie is, you know, you, you can basically just make it larger and smaller. That's, that's what we've got to choose from. I'm just going to move it over so we can see it. Now there's a choice. You can say fit. So it'll fit whatever's on the screen into the screen that you've got. You can crop it. So in this situation, that's what we're going to do. So as you can see, this green, oops, this green box that we've got, this will allow us to crop it. Now, for some reason, it's off the screen. Now, this is something you're going to deal with, glitches. I'm going to close it down and open it back up again. Because it should be taking up the whole screen. Occasionally you do get uh, glitches in iMovie, but it's worth overcoming those glitches for the speed at which you can move through doing the material as well. Yeah, I, I and usually closing it down and opening it up fixes it, because it, it saves and renders on the fly. So let's see if that fixed it. <coughs> so I've got my clip there. Oops, thank you. So I'm going into crop. Ah, there we go. So now, once I start to move it around, I get to choose 
whatever's within the green box is what becomes what this happens on the screen. So I'm going to move in, and again, if we talk about this is where you can control your framing. I could put myself in the center, but I want to do it like this because I'm the subject and I'm pointing in a different direction, and that's where I want your eye to go. I want you to be like, this is the space you want to follow. So again, that, that's just an editing technique. Generally, the subject will be uh, on one side dictating where the, the, the eye should be going. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, if you go up to this button here, this one, just play clip, that lets you just have a test, see if you like it. So if I play that, this is what we're leading to. Turn it into a branded so, thing if you want it to be viral, but try to have a plan. So that's zoomed in. Now, just for sake, I'll do this. I'll change it around. This is what we're leading to. Turn it into See a brand. See it's a little bit different? I've got all this space on the other side, and it doesn't quite fit properly. So I'm going to leave it like that and click Done. So here, let's just play it through. But ultimately, this is what we're leading to. Now, in this situation, I actually didn't actually, edit on the cut. This is what we're I should have been editing there. So now you can make adjustments. Yep. So I want to I want to go okay actually where I want this to start is there and I control click go to trim to selection so let's see what happens here well it's going to cut I'll show you. I'm I'm making mistakes because I want you to see the things that can happen okay so watch this no Watch this. Jumped on that one actually, but ultimately this is what we're leading to. Turn it okay. into a brand. So I just skipped a bit because I've altered one clip. What you can do is, what I would do in this situation, I would actually reconnect them. So you I would just join them back together. Z, which yep. undid that mistake. Or you go to back to join clip, and I want to get more precise of where I want to actually make that cut because it wasn't very clean because you had me standing there and all of a sudden I was moving. So I want to get a flow of moving it. Thank you.